Hi friends. Uh, today I came with the new video. Okay. Uh, since we get a lot of inquiry and the complaint from uh, the buildings and from the contractors saying that uh, the wet area, the bathrooms, are the more most crucial place where we need to do a proper waterproofing. Okay. Uh, conventionally, they use a bitumen sheet or a bitumen uh, waterproofing system to complete their waterproofing uh, in the wet area. But what we have seen over the four five years, all the uh, bathrooms which made with the bitumens are leaking. Especially uh, in the malls, shopping malls, the first floor will be uh, there will be some wet area or bathrooms and the uh, coring area. From the coring area, there's always a dripping of water because the corners has been not been proper treated properly. So in this video, I want to explain you how to treat your coring area, like uh, we say the drain area, where the PVC pipe will be embedded in the uh, concrete. So uh, the, uh, the main logic is that you know uh, PVC and concrete will never have a bonding together. That's the universal truth. Even if there is a 0.5 or 0.1 millimeter of gap in between the concrete and the PVC, water will leak from there. That's what happening in uh, in most of the areas. That's that's the thing. If you treat that area properly, uh, believe me, you will not have this problem for sure. And you treat your corners properly. Okay. If you treat your corners properly and the coring area properly, you will never have a uh, leakage problem. But always use a cementitious waterproofing system or acrylic waterproofing system for faster um, curing. But if you want a normal curing, uh, cementitious is fine. Um, I'm going to explain you uh, in this in the video how to treat your coring area uh, with a pro with a with our product, which is called Adislex PG4 or Adislex PG2 TG or Adislex PG2. Three uh, three three of them are same, you know, almost same category. Ideally, it's an epoxy based putty. It will just cover the uh, coring area. Uh, first, you need to do a coring uh, treatment first. And the next day, you need to come and do the um, treatment for your all your corners. And the third day, you need to start your uh, waterproofing, proper waterproofing. Uh, I will explain you one by one. Uh, so let's start. So hope you will like the video. Uh, this is only for information and training purpose only. Uh, just to educate my customers, resellers and my applicators. So just have a look and uh, just follow that one first of all how we'll see how to fix the coring area this is adislex pg4 a plus b uh, component mixed together in a proper manner like uh, uniformly and uh, we need to apply uh, on around the corning, coring areas of the pipes uh, because as I, as I told you before uh, that is the more crucial one this is the coring area you will need to apply like this uh, on and around uh, to the pipe uh, this will enable uh, uh, that area to be 100% waterproof from the concrete to the PVC so uh, in this manner we are going to seal enter area next important thing is the surface preparation as you can see this is a live demo of one of our uh, active uh, sites uh, remove all the loose particles uh, from the flow uh, I know uh, that is more important and make it clean make it clean and use a wet uh, cloth to make it a surface saturated we call as saturated dry surface there should not be a stagnant water only with the uh, uh, what you call the uh, sponge or something like that we just need to wipe it out to remove the dust from the entire area so this is very important and uh, you can see this is after the SDS uh, saturated dry surface this has been completed your coring is, uh, area has been uh, treated properly uh, now, uh, this is the surface where we need to do a water pool. As we mentioned before, yeah. you can see the substrate is almost saturated. And as you can uh, see, this surface is uh, so dust free a, and uh, uh, this area, uh, I think yesterday we have done it and now it's very hard, uh, now it's very uh, tangent and you know, you can, the corners, you know, all the pipes the area has been treated well that and the corners, there is no dust at all. So now we will start making a pipe penetration treatment. How to do 
uh, how to do a pipe penetration treatment related uh, by using my pet excel anti alkaline mesh How we are showing uh, how to treat the uh, main uh, coring area. Uh, take Texel in a square manner and uh, fold it into a triangle shape, and then cut the ends and uh, make some cuts horizontally as well, just to get into the pipe area. This should be like this, uh, and another one piece uh, and cut in this manner to just to surround the pipe that's the whole idea okay now uh, the first one you need to make it very tight uh, to the main uh, coring area okay uh, this is a part of preparation you need to prepare this uh, texel well in advance before you do any waterproofing and just to make sure that you know you've done uh, the cutting is perfect uh, and uh, make a necessary changes whatever you wanted the idea is uh, not to have a a water penetration from this area so this how we need to cover the entire pipe area this is a mandatory now let's start the mepelastic smart application as you can see uh, the B component has to be poured first not full amount uh, you need to uh, maybe 100 grams you to left over mix it properly and after that the rest 100 grams together to make it a uniform material and now you need to apply uh, on the coring area first uh, just apply with a brush like this and uh, place uh, the texel on top of it mandated to complete the entire process by uh, pasting my plastic smart all around uh, because uh, you you need to spend some time to uh, seal this area and you need to complete the uh, procedure uh, and of course the wrapping also and uh, just uh, imagine uh, that you know all the uh, textile need to be embedded in the with this my plastic smart it has to be now it's a corners now you can see how the corners should be treated uh, with the mepet excel first you need to um, compact it properly to uh, embed uh, this mepet excel into the plastic smart it is mandatory and you use a scraper or something like that to press in into the wall properly these uh, areas are really crucial you know we we think that this is a normal area but uh, these are the area we get a cracks uh, in the concrete after some time so by doing this uh, it gives a uh, confidence that you know even if it is cracked there will not be a leakage from this area and after that all the corners has to be uh, horizontally have to complete it uh, this is the completed one this is the first step you need to complete all the uh, areas first then do the first coat of my plastic smart full area and that, sh that should be the way to complete After 4 hours or after 24 hours you can do the second coating and your entire area is ready.